Welcome back to the PSN Command Network. It's your boy Tonk. A tech. We back with another video. If I get to where God for God's right now, God's open doors and pay for the people of the Lord. And pray today's video. We're here right about the NFL. In this case, the AFC East. Uh, we're gonna do an AFC East uh, mock draft uh, for for the Pats, Jets, Dolphins, and Bills. Uh, we'll just give a quick off season. For, for give a quick quick off season recap for each team. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give a quick Bible verse. I know how we're doing the channel. Uh, my voice too much time with this part. If you want to skip it, I completely understand. I'm not mad at that. I cannot get mad at that. But uh, Ephesians 6, 11, so chapter 6, verse 11, pull on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Uh, that just means, man, pull the full armor of God on, man. Put that breastplate of God on, man. To guide you, to guide you through the devil's schemes, man. The devil will play as an angel of light and try to play like he's like a very beautiful figure, but the whole time he's really a dark, sinister person. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind, man. The the, the devil the devil will try to play you like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you're doing something very God-fearing, but the whole time, nah. So just just, just keep your ears peeled. That's basically what that means. But let's get right into it, right? So, we have the four teams right here, Pats, Jets, Dolphins and Bills. We're gonna do turbo for the uh draft pick for the for the draft selections. And we're not gonna waste no time. Let's just see. Let's see what we're gonna hit on. So I'm gonna put it on fast. Turbo a little too fast. All right, fast. Now let's do it. Let's have the pats. So they said they wouldn't, they might not draft a quarterback at three. And um, I actually believe Gerard Mayo. I actually do believe that. So I'm gonna go with his word. I'm gonna go Marvin Harrison. So next, the Jets are on the clock. They can use they can use some offensive line help for sure. Uh, they can use some offensive line help. Uh, wide receiver help. They help out Garrett Wilson. Defensive line help and also safety. Okay, they did lose Jordan Whitehead. Kind of makes sense. <laughs> they got Titans. They like the Ty Conklin and uh, what's homie name? Uh, CJ Uzama. Oh crap! I don't got the Vince shirt. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so that's I just take a quick, quick, quick recap here before the Jets pick. I picked Marvin Harrison for the uh, for the at straight main one second to the Commanders. Joe Alt went four to the dang. The Cardinals, the Chargers went with Roma Dunze. Jane Daniels went six to the Giants, which I think that's insane that he fell that long, but whatever. Malik Neighbors goes seven to the Titans. I think they picked up Calvin, really? Interesting. Uh, Jared First went eight to the Falcons, and then Dallas Turner went nine to the Chicago Dubbish. And now the Jets are not on the clock. Give me one second, y'all. Right so, my fault. I had to go do something real quick. But now they're just on the clock. And they don't have a lot of picks early in the draft. They a lot late in the draft. So, they kind of got to make this one count. <laughs> it's kind of tough. They don't have another pick until 72. So, you might want to get out of 10. I think I want to get out of 10. Let's get out of 10 because I don't think it'd be the move. The Bronx don't really have anything. Oh, no draft capital for them. Let's do it at the same time. Only have a second rounder. That does help, though. All right, cool. So we're gonna get the forty fifth pick, and we let the we let we, we let the, we let them go up. JJ McCarthy, what the heck? I guess they weren't gonna come up for a quarterback. I guess Olu Fushanu at twelve, Talis Falaga at eleven. Tackle crop sound looking a little thin over there, but the interior defensive line crop ain't looking too ain't looking too thin though. I'm calling the pencil on the talent like Brock Bowers, 
to help out your quarterback. They do have tight ends they like. So I'm gonna go with Dur- I'm gonna go Duran Duran Newton right here for the Jets. Now, Court Brock Bauer goes to the Rams and goes to play with Matthew Stafford and Sean freaking McVay. <laughs> oh, and Tyler Higgins, by the way. <laughs> and Puka Nukua. And a glass of Kuba cup. I would love that fit for the I would love that fit for the for the Rams. That'd be insane. That would be insane. With Teron Armstead's issue, so with the Dolphins are on the clock, so with the third pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the Patriots selected Marvin Harrison Jr. With the 14th pick with a trade down after the Jets decided to get more draft capital, they needed more, they took Jaron Newton out of Illinois. So now we're at the 21st pick, and the Dolphins are now on the clock. Needs some interior defensive line help. I think they did. They did. They, they, they did lose Christian Wilkins to free agency to the Raiders, uh, but also need some offensive line help with Teron Armstead's uh, injury history, and with his probably impending retirement because I don't see him playing much longer. It's a tough decision here, but I think you have to protect Tua. And I know a lot of people saying, "Oh, he's a draft a quarterback and trade Tua away." Oh, that sounds cute until a new quarterback doesn't play well. So. I'm going to go ahead and keep running with Tua, and we're going to draft Troy Fatano right here. Now, the Buffalo Bills are now on the clock. They have some decent amount of draft capital, and they might even trade Stephon Diggs. It's getting interesting in Buffalo. Are they about to blow it completely up around Josh Allen? They cut, like, they released, like, five defensive starters, at least three of them. Employer, Hyde, and White. It's getting real spicy. It's getting real spicy in Buffalo. It's getting real spicy. It's getting real. You can do a lot of things here. You can get out this pick, get out the first round. But it's hard to pass up on a talent like Nate Wiggins here. I think it's very hard. 6'2", 185. Yeah, Sean McDermott loves corners. I think we're going Nate Wiggins here, and I think that's the move. Now, with the 34th pick, the New England Patriots are now back on the clock. And Xavier Ward, of course, goes to the Chiefs. Makes sense. All right, so let's see what we can do here for the Patriots. We can do a lot of things. Could go edge rusher. Could go quarterback here, too. Could go wide receiver. My man's a very wide receiver uh, deep class. So I think it's time to go ahead and get your quarterback in the future. Why you still can. Michael Penix is available. You take him. Now, the Jets are now on the clock after their trade with the New Orleans Saints. Oh, who's Saints? Right, Saints from Denver. It, it's it's a weird. <laughs> so it's from Denver to New Orleans to the Jets. Whatever. This is about to get real interesting here. So you can do multiple things here. I think probably getting a wire receiver right now would be the move for them. The team with Garrett Wilson. Roman Wilson's a really nice slot receiver. I like him a lot. I think we need an outside receiver here, though. And a guy that compliments Garrett very well. I'm actually, I'm not going to lie to you, it's kind of tough. Did he sign a receiver for free agency? I feel like that's some of the receiver. Free agency. Roman Wilson, so explosive as a slot guy. It's hard to not want a guy like this. In your slot. Hard. Kind of hard. To have to want a guy like this. To not want a guy like this. In the slot. Right. I'm 
I go the outside guy. I'm gonna go with Keon Coleman. I'm gonna go Keon Coleman. Too hard, but you think I think you have to go ahead and go with that. Okay, so Dolphins can definitely use a tight end. I, I don't I ain't, I don't even know how often they use a tight end in their offense. It just has a lot of Tyree Kill, a lot of Jalen Waddle, and a little bit of the running backs. I don't really see the tight end being involved like that. It's time to change that. Jatavion Sanders changes that immediately. Now we're on the Bills. The Bills are now on the clock at the 60th pick. They did pick Nate Wiggins in the first round. Uh, that's tough. With Kyron Magidje here at 60, he's a tackle. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. That's team one with Deion Dawkins. Let's make that better run. Let's make that better. Uh... Hey, you just drafted Michael Payne Jr. Why not get a guy that played with him? That that's that's pretty clear cut to me. Pretty clear cut. My fault, y'all. I'm a little under the weather today, so excuse me. So now we're at seventy two for the Jets. What are we doing round one? Got Jerron Newton. We're in round two. What do we do round two for the Jets here? We're so early in round two. Keon Coleman. So we did get a receiver. Okay. Thought so. Keon Coleman, and we did Jerron Newton. So we attacked two of those needs for the Jets. But sometimes you just got to go best player available. It's tough. It's tough because... It's going to get a little early for Blake Fisher, but I'm going to go ahead and take him now. Now the New England pitch back on the clock at 103. So far, we have Jalen McMillan, Michael Penix Jr., and Marvin Harrison Jr. So we went pretty offensively late in, early in the draft, which I think we sh they, the, the Patriots should do. Honestly, I think they should do that. Ah, <sighs> that the best edge rusher available is Xavier Thomas. Oh, that sucks. It's tough. It's tough. They did pick up Antonio Gibson this offseason, but I think you kind of want to... And you got Ramon J. Stevenson, so you're fine at running back. Uh, I think Eric All is the move here. I think he's a very offensively late in draft for the Patriots, but, I mean, their offense is that bad. They they need they, they need some juice. They need some juice on that offensive of end. Now, with the 111 pick, the Jets are now back on the clock. I kind of want to keep improving that interior defensive line, and I think Dwayne Carter brings that. Hey, Mr. Carter. So, with the 128th pick, the Bills are back on the clock. The Bills are a very interesting team. He picked up Curtis Samuel already to team up with Stephon Diggs. I know he picked a receiver sometime in the chat, didn't we? Do we? Wish you could see the picks you already made. That's my, it makes it a little harder. I'm going to take Malik Washington here. I, I think that's a good fit. I want Brady Bree. I'm going to go BPA here for the Bills. I, I don't really see. That's probably the best bet. Now, Xavier Thomas is gone for the Jets. It's not an edge rusher here. So now you're in a kind of tough spot. McKinley Jackson here sounds good for them to continue to, to improve their interior defensive line. Now the page is back on the clock here. You can add no corners. Come on, Hayden. Could be a really good corner for you and play special teams. 
144. It's interesting. 144 is interesting here. I like Isaac Garendo for the Bills. The Tatum Murray's oldest dirt. You know, you know, running right back in that room. Uh, 158 for the Dolphins. I've not seen a Dolphin in a while. So, I'm going to take Trevor King in here. They can never have enough offensive linemen. Their offensive line is so bad. It's just really ridiculous how bad their offensive line is. Now the Bills back on the clock. The Bills have all these late picks. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it makes it kind of weird for me. Uh, CJ Betrin could sound like a nice step linebacker for you here. Now I would pick here. That's... Might need a court behind Josh Allen to develop as a backup. Awesome reads house interesting here. Next pick will be New England. Next pick is New England. That's one. What the? Oh, my computer just froze on me randomly. Sorry about that, y'all. At 180. So we're at 180 now. I don't like any of these guys. I'm going to say Jordan Jefferson. All right, so now the Dolphins are back on the clock. Ah, they just aren't happening here. Now you're you just drafting best player available at this point. Tyrone Trace, the best player on the board at the time, so we're just going to take him for the Jets. Uh, I'm not a big fan of drafting two running backs in the draft, so I'm going to leave that one alone. T Tip Ryman sounds interesting for the Bills to continue to have more depth. I'll take Curtis Schrader here for the Patriots. I'll take Jalen Green here for the Dolphins. Uh, for the Bills here at 200. They did get rid of Mitch Morris. Just like a guy you can kind of develop in Hunter, in Hunter or Norsrad from Penn State to be your next center. Uh, I mean, you have another pick right here at 204. I would take Anthony Gold here for more depth of wide receiver. I'm going to take Jalen Ford here to end of the Patriots draft here. Take Donovan Jennings here to develop behind um, Armstead eventually. Maybe a nice swing tackle for you. That's a developmental quarterback already. Like Tyler Owens. To kind of kind of help you with that safety position. I like Carter Bradley here. It's a guy you can develop. Because they, they don't really have nobody who can develop uh, behind Aaron Rodgers. Zach Wilson is trash. Um let's we'll say Dallas that Dallas again, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I didn't know. After round five, it's hard to really try to attack needs and stuff. You're just drafting players for the best play available. So this quick recap for the third pick. We took Marvin Harrison Jr. for the Patriots here. I'm going to recap the first three rounds because after that, it's kind of, you know, murky. Next, for the Jets, after a trade down with the New Orleans Saints, we took Jerron Newton out of Illinois. We, take Troy, we took Troy Fatano for the uh, Dolphins here to help fortify your offensive line because Teron Armstead is getting old. Nate Wiggins. Uh, they 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 got rid of Tredavious White. Obviously, they need a corner. So go get a corner. Uh, Michael Penix Jr. at 34. This sounds about right for Michael Penix. I think like either late first, early second. This is good value. Uh, I really think this is a good pickup. And you already have Marvin Harrison Jr. to throw the ball to. So you already have a really good receiver to throw the ball to for him already. So that's good. And they're going to continue to improve the offense in free agency as well as for the rest of the draft. So good move for the Patriots there. 
Next, the 45th pick, another wide receiver come off the board. This time it's Keon Coleman, wide receiver from Florida State. He comments Garrett Wilson very well because he wins with um, strength and uh, high point of football and being strong at the point of release, things of that nature, while Garrett Wilson kind of a smooth operator, uh, winning with speed and winning with quickness and agility. He does the same. He does the exact opposite. I think they're great comments to each other. I think that's a great fit for the Jets at 45. Next, we have Jatavion Sanders at 55. They need a tight end. They, their tight end is so non-existent. Their offense is ridiculous. It's time to change that, and this just makes perfect sense. Uh, Curran Ademaje out of Yale. They need another tackle to here with Deion Dawkins, and I think it's a good fit. You can play right tackle. He's not... Forced to play left or anything like that. It's a good fit. Jeremy Miller, he played with Michael Penix. I, there, there's no need to say the best on the board, and he played Michael Penix, which makes sense. Blake Fisher, they need never tackle. They don't really have a lot of tackles in their room. They can use one. Next, their pick was forfeited because they do stupid stuff. Let's keep going here. Uh, round four, Eric All. They need never tight end next to Hunter Henry. Wayne Carter, more defensive line help for the Jets. I'll recap the forefront real quick. I mean, Malik Washington's uh, a nice gadget guy that you can use. They might kind of have two guys like that with him and Curtis Samuel and also Shakir. It might be a little overkill, but I just really like Malik Washington's um, versatility. Uh, you can never have enough guys that aren't versatile. You know, it could look like it's overkill um, at first glance. Van Xavier Thomas. More help on the edge to help out Von Miller, potentially. And then McKinley Jackson here um, for the Bill, for, for the Jets. And that's going to do it for the recap. Um, after that, everything gets a little murky. I know Isaac, I had I, I, Isaac Garendo going to the Bills. Or, no, I am going to get yeah, the Bills because uh, of Latavius Murray's age. So that's going to do it for the 2024 NFL mock draft for the AFC East, so you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. You guys, be easy, be safe, stay healthy. And I'll catch y'all next one, man. Peace.